Hey family, I can I can eat again. I can I can chew. Still can't open my mouth all the way. But a couple of my brothers want to strap a truck to my tooth and pull it out. Thanks, but I'm a pass. And uh, in that family tradition, if you're looking for traditional stuff, this might not be your channel. They got all kind of non-traditional stuff going on. Well, see, traditionally, I got two daughters, Joy and Jasmine. Oh, but wait, I do adopt other kids all the time, and I got this new precious baby of mine, <laughs> Genesis. And today's Jan's birthday. Yeah, I adopt grown women, so what? Shut up. And uh, happy birthday, Jan. Well, in that non-traditional form, well, I made something to eat that was non-traditional, too. Uh, uh, you're gonna have to see it, then I'll explain later. Okay, okay. Let's go! Hi. My name is T. I am not a chef. Actually, I'm a truck driver. And I don't drive food trucks, I drive a semi. What I'm about to do is show you how to do what I do on my truck. Welcome to your favorite new food show, Big Taste in a Small Space with me, T. So what had happened was, um, um, I wanted to make a burrito, but I didn't have what I needed. So I made something else. Oh yeah. They say I'm not the sharpest knife in the bunch, so I figured I'd sharpen my stuff up. Anyway, keep your knife sharp so that when you get your duck, yes, a piece of duck rest, uh, and you score the duck, you don't want to go through the skin too far. You just want to go lightly through the top, but your knife needs to be sharp. You don't want to get all the way down to the meat. You just want to do this so that the fat will render out. Mm-hmm. Then you add a little bit of salt, uh, you know me, pink Himalaya. Add some white pepper. That's going to keep it from being all speckly and blackish and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Color thing. Shut up. Uh, flip your duck over. Add some salt. Add some pepper. There you go. And some Chinese five spice. It's kind of a sweet, not sugary sweet, but it's got a nice sweet type of taste to it. Yeah. And you yeah, make sure... Yeah, I only put the fire spice on the flesh side. Don't want it on the, the fat side. And you're going to get your hot plate, my new hot plate I keep burning everything with, but we working, we learning. Put your small cast iron on and put your duck in the cast iron cold. And my thing goes up to about five or six. I put it on two, so I want it kind of low. This duck is going to be in the pan all together about 12 minutes most of that time is going to be on the skin side because it's going to render out the fat it's going to make the skin nice and crispy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's going to keep the uh flesh side the middle of the flesh kind of pinkish mm -hmm. and as you see uh yeah a little high speed motion but you can see that the fat is rendering out of the duck Nice, quick, and easy. Like I said, put it in the ice in a cold pan. Not ice cold, but put it in a cold pan. And slowly, all that fat starts to run out. It's a beautiful thing. And do not throw out your duck fat, because that is a luxurious item. We're gonna use it the rest of it today, but it's a beautiful thing to have. So as you see, the duck fat is coming out. Your duck is kind of shriveling a little bit. And I'd say I keep that on its side for about 7 to 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. You can check it every now and then. I kind of cook a lot of duck breast, so I'm going to let it sit there for a while. For at least a good 7 minutes. And you see all that lovely fat coming out. Yep. And then after a while, you want to check it. You want to 
I think I want to check it. Do we want to check it? We're going to check it sooner or later. Here you go. You flip it over. You see that uh, skin side. Get, it's getting nice and crispy. I put it back on the skin for a minute. I put it on the side of the pan just to make sure that the edges get cooked too. Yep, that's right. Nice and crispy already. That's been about seven minutes, eight minutes. Then I just move it around and I notice that there's a spot on my lens. Eh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Take it out the pan. Let it rest for a while. Move your pan and get your other pan out. Mm-hmm. Little non-stick. Turn that up. And while that's heating up, I got me some onions and some green pepper that stole from a salad. And my little my little sweet peppers too. I only had two left. Might as well finish them off. I need to make a Walmart run, but I'm afraid because you know me, I make a Walmart run. I have food until December in here but anyway two sweet peppers nicely quickly diced and uh, while your pan is heating up should be hot by now reposition your spotty camera pour some of that duck fat into the nonstick put your peppers and onions into the duck fat Gonna start to simmer that, start to soften those things, bring the flavor out. And yeah, I had some frozen veggies. Figured let me use them up too. Only had a little bit. Told you I need a Walmart run, but hey, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. But we gotta use up some of this stuff so it don't go bad. Hate throwing away food, got to be the biggest sin. I'm off on a rant. And I had some scallion, my last scallion too. Yeah. Put that in the pan, turn the pan up to about three or four, because we want that to cook off nice. Add a little more duck fat, toss it around, yes. And this is when I got a little stranger than normal. Leftover farro and lentils. Yep, put them in the pan. So yeah, I'm making a uh, duck fry Farro and lentils with mixed vegetables. No, what tradition? Ain't no tradition. Anyway, while your duck was resting, you can get a nice look at it. Let it rest for at least seven minutes. You cut it open, see it's nice pink. You cube it up. Uh huh. Put it in the in the in the in the pan with the farro and the vegetables, and you stir it up. Mm hmm. Flippy flippy a little bit. Make sure everybody gets nice and hot. Make sure everybody gets some of that good duck fat on it. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be good. I, I can tell it's going to be good. Mm-hmm. And once it's all nice and warm, I drizzle a little uh, duck sauce and some soy sauce over the top. And bam. Man, this is wonderful. Like I said. Duck fried farro and lentils with mixed vegetables. Mm -hmm. I forgot all about my. We'll get the salad next time. <laughs>